Hello viewers, welcome to Astrobates Live Connect program. Let us get through today's show. The first question for today is from Mr. Nilothpal. Hello Mr. Nilothpal. Your question is, actually our whole main door side is south. So I want to buy a Navagraha Yantra to hang it in our main door. So you have requested us to suggest which Navagraha Yantra would be the best. Okay, Mr. Nilotpal, let us get into your birth chart. So, your ascendant sign is Libra and your moon sign is Scorpio. Your birth star is Anuradha. So, based on your birth chart, it's you have your ascendant lord, that is Venus, placed in the 8th house. And uh, the functional benefit planet for your ascendant sign, that is Saturn, which is placed in the 3rd house which is also another good aspect and uh, the lot of fortunes in the form of Mercury placed in its own house, Gemini. So, it would be a good thing if you prefer Mercury Yantra to hang it in your main door. Best wishes, Mr. Nilotpal. Viewers, let's get into our next question of the day. It is from Mr. Chandrasekhar. Hello, sir. Your question is regarding, I lost money in stock market in 2018. I have repositioned my portfolio in the stock of the oil company I work for. Will I recover my losses in 2019 and make profit in stock market in 2019? Okay, sir, let's analyze your birth chart now. Your ascendant sign is Sagittarius, your moon sign is Leo, and your birth star is Baka. You are currently under the major period of Mars. Okay, so things would get settled for you after 2020. There are less chances for you to get everything settled with respect to the stocks and the question that you have asked. So the recovery might happen in the year 2020. So you got to wait another year. So things might get stabilized and get into your way by the beginning of the second half of 2019. So thereafter, things would move in your favor. The year 2020 seems to be favorable for you. Things would get going in your way one after the other. It is advisable that you visit nearby temple of Lord Shiva and obtain the blessings of Lord Shiva on Saturdays and Sundays. Make it a practice also to observe fast on Thursdays. And if you are preferably a non-vegetarian, please avoid non-vegetarian diet on Thursdays. And if you are a vegetarian, observe fasting. And also, if you can, visit nearby temple of Lord Shiva on Thursdays in the evening. Preferably, you could just spend time in the temple of Lord Shiva for about 24 minutes on Thursdays. I hope this remedy would let you find your way back in the stock market and revive a great life in 2020. All the best, Mr. Chandrasekhar. Viewers, let's get into our next question of the day. It is from Jun. Hi. Your question. You would like to find a more fulfilling job with a salary that would cover all your needs. Okay, Mr. Juan. Let's analyze your birth chart. Your ascendant sign is Sagittarius and your moon sign is Virgo. Your birth star is Hasta. You are currently under the major period of Saturn. Finding the right job means it's like things would get stabilized after April 2019, even before that, try and put in all your efforts. So you have some good chances coming towards you after March 2019, after which things would get back into its best. Prefer light blue colored costumes when appearing for interviews and on important meetings and summits also prefer light blue colored costumes. On Thursdays, try sporting yellow-colored or sandal-colored costumes. Donate 
to the underprivileged or the needy on Thursdays. Apart from that, observe fasting if you can on Thursdays so that things would come in your favor pretty quickly. Best wishes, Jun. Viewers, let's get back to our next question of the day. This is from Andy. Hello. Your question is regarding will be the status of my career in mid 2020. You are asking about what would be your status of your career in 2020. Okay. Andy will just analyze your birth chart. Your ascendant sign is Scorpio. And you are currently under the major period of Saturn. By 2020 or obviously by mid-2020, your career would go through a lot of changes. In fact, with the beginning of 2020 itself, you would find so many changes coming into your life, especially related to career prospects. There would be change of place. Location changes are obvious. And uh, you would also be in a situation to move out of your home and uh, get back to another city which is in close proximity to your neighborhood. You would find some good assistance in your new place that you're visiting or you get settled. Preferably you would be under the receiving end of some support from unknown people or foreign people so to say. So your career would be stable. Best wishes Andy. Viewers, let's get back to our next question of the day. Our next question is from Mr. Anil. Hello, sir. Okay, Mr. Anil, your question is whether I'll do good or bad in 2019 class 10 board exams. Okay. Mr. Anil, analyzing your birth chart, your ascendant sign is Cancer and you are currently under the major period of Rahu. So, based on your question, uh, things would go preferably good for you since this uh, upcoming Rahu Ketu transit would be offering you a whole lot of good things ahead also so that you could expect some favorable aspects coming into your life in the form of some positive results in your examinations. All the best, prepare well, Viewers, let's get back to our next question of the day. It is from Irisha. And you've asked about your future. Okay, Irisha, let's analyze your birth chart. Okay. Your moon sign is Taurus. And you're currently under the major period of Rahu. Your future looks good. The time frame between 2020 and 2022 might offer you some instability in life, but it would be manageable. Things would not go out of control. It's like you have to be confident and determined in your efforts, either in your personal life or in your professional life. Thanks for your question. Okay, viewers, it's the end of our show today. Let's meet you some other time. Until then, it's bye from all of us here in Astrobate. Bye-bye.